Good morning. Flippin' physics. The term flux is defined as any effect that appears to pass or travel through a surface or substance. However, realize that effect does not need to actually move, hence the phrase appears to in the definition. Billy, please remind me of what electric flux for a constant electric field is. The symbol for flux is an uppercase phi. When we add a capital E subscript, that makes it electric flux. Electric flux is the measure of the amount of electric field which passes through a defined area. The equation for electric flux of a uniform electric field through a two-dimensional area is uppercase phi sub capital E equals the dot product of the uniform electric field and the area of the surface through which the electric field is passing, where both electric field and area are vectors. That also equals electric field times area times the cosine of the angle between the direction of the electric field and the direction of the area. Area can have direction? Yeah, the direction of an area is always normal to the plane of the area, just like the direction of angular velocity is normal right. to the plane in which the object is rotating. Right. This equation has the same form as the work equation for a constant force. Work equals the dot product of force and displacement, or force times displacement times the cosine of the angle between the force doing the work and the displacement of the object. That means we should use the magnitudes of the electric field and area, and that the value of the cosine of the angle between the electric field and the area determines if the electric flux is positive or negative. Electric flux is a scalar. The units for electric flux are, well, electric field is in newtons per coulomb, and area is in square meters. So the units for electric flux are newtons times square meters divided by coulombs. Thank you, Billy. Now. Usually when we determine electric flux, it is through some sort of closed surface. So let's do an example and determine the net electric flux of a uniform horizontal electric field through a right triangular box oriented as I have shown in the illustration. To determine the net electric flux, we need to define some dimensions of the right triangular box. Let's label the short side of the right triangle A, the long side B, the hypotenuse C, and the width of the right triangular box W. In order to determine the net electric flux through the closed surface of the right triangular box, we need to determine the electric flux through all five sides of the right triangular box, and then sum all those electric fluxes. The plural of flux is fluxes and not just flux. The plural of tux is tuxes. But the plural of influx is influx or influxes. The plural of fox is foxes. But the plural of ox is ox. Or oxen. But the plural of sock is just socks, not soxes. Sock ends in CK, not X. Oh, yeah, right. Fun fact. When my daughter Geneve was learning to talk, she deduced that the singular of box was bock. Bach. That actually yeah, makes sense. Sure. So. Now we need to identify all five sides of the right triangular bock. <laughs> right. Nice. Let's identify the left rectangular side as side one in red, the bottom as side two in yellow, the triangular side closest to us as side three in pink, the triangular side farthest from us as side four in blue, and the top side of the right triangular box, which is formed with the hypotenuse of the right triangle and the width of the box as size five, side five in black. The colors kind of work. It works well enough. It's not that complicated. <laughs> sure. Good. Bobby, please determine the electric flux through area one, the back of the right triangular box. Okay, area one, the back. Well, we use the equation for electric flux from a constant f electric field, which equals... But, you know, let's not use the dot product because we do not have unit vectors. Electric field times area one times the cosine of angle one. Area one is a rectangle, so its area equals length A times length W. And the area vector for area one, is that area vector to the left or to the right? I, I know the area is normal to the plane of the surface. However, that could be to the left or to the right. 
Area vectors are always directed outward for closed surfaces. Area vectors are always out of closed surfaces. That means the area vector for area one is to the left, the electric field is to the right, and the angle between to the left and to the right is 180 degrees. The cosine of 180 degrees is negative one, so the electric flux through area one equals negative electric field times side A times side W. Thank you, Bobby. Bo, how about the electric flux through area two, the bottom? Sure. Area two, the bottom. We use the same equation Bobby just used, only with twos for subscripts instead of ones. Area two equals B times W. The direction of area two is, well, you said the area vector is always out of the closed surface. That means area two is directed down. That makes the angle between area vector two, which is down, and the electric field vector, which is to the right, 90 degrees, and the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. There is zero flux through the bottom of the right triangular box. That makes sense. If you look at the diagram, the electric field lines are parallel to the bottom surface of the right triangular box, so none of the electric field lines go through the bottom surface of the right triangular box, so the electric flux through the bottom surface of the right triangular box equals zero. Bobby, the electric flux through side three, the right triangular surface, which is closest to us, please? Sure, side three, the triangle closest to us. Using the same equation with subscripts of three, the area is the area of a triangle, or, or one-half base, which is B, times height, which is A, and then times the cosine of the angle between area three and the electric field. Area three is out of the right triangular box, or out of the screen, the angle between out of the screen and to the right is, uh, again, 90 degrees, so, so yeah, the electric flux through area three is zero. No electric field lines pass through area three. A actually, the, the same is true for area four, the triangle which is farthest from us. No electric field lines pass through area four, so the electric flux through area four is also zero and the area vector for area four is into the screen, and the angle between into the screen and to the right is 90 degrees, so the math for the electric flux through area four also gives us zero flux. Thank you, Bobby. Now, the electric flux through area five, the top surface of the right triangular box, requires one more illustration to understand. The area of area five is a rectangle which has an area of length c times length w. The angle between area vector five and the electric field takes a bit of geometry to understand. You can see angle five in the illustration. By definition, the direction of area vector five and the hypotenuse of the triangle form a right angle. That makes the angle between the dotted extended line for the electric field and the hypotenuse of the right triangle 90 degrees minus angle five. Because the angle between the horizontal dotted line and the vertical side of the triangle is 90 degrees, that makes the top angle in the right triangle also equal to angle five. Oh, cool. Therefore, the cosine of angle five, which equals adjacent over hypotenuse, also equals length A over length C, which we can substitute back into the equation for electric flux to replace cosine of angle five. Length C cancels out, and the electric flux through side five equals the magnitude of the electric field times length A times length W. That means the net flux through the closed right triangular box equals the sum of all five of those fluxes. Again with the fluxes. Which equals, when you add all of them together, Zero. Uh, ah. okay. Excuse me, I, I need a sip of my tea. Sure you do. <sighs> nice. I don't get it. You've never had tea before. All right. <laughs> Please notice that when an electric field is going into a closed surface, the electric flux is negative, and when an electric field is coming out of a closed surface, the electric field is positive. It's just useful to realize that. 
Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoy learning with you.